What is up, Jerk Squad? I am the Perch Jerker. I make family-friendly educational fishing videos, and today I am out at Huntington Beach Pier in Southern California. It's the middle of January. I've heard that it's been really slow up here, so we're gonna see what we can catch today. There's gotta be something up here. We'll produce some sort of fish. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Cop some Perch merch in the description. Let's get right into this. We currently have a bunch of fishing rods out in the water and they all have big mackerels on them and big baits and we are gonna see if we can hook into a shark today. This is my first thresher shark rig. This is a Saltus 30H. I have 50 pound braid on here. And at the end of this, I have an eight ounce Sputnik sinker. I'll show you that in a second. And then this is a Daiwa Proteus rod. Like I was saying, the Sputniks that I'm using for the thresher shark rig are these Sputniks right here. The plastic part actually screws into the weights. These are from Hook a Fish Tackle Company, right? there. Marcos hooked it up. He's a real cool guy. Make sure you guys check them out on Instagram and send them a message if you guys want to buy some of these. These are my favorite Sputniks. I always go through him. For my Thresher Shark leader that I'll be sliding down, I have about a six to eight Ot hook right here and this is attached to 200 pound cable the 200 pound cable is attached to 100 pound mono and on here i have a hoochie and a weight to help float down and help sink the mackerel once it gets into the water at the top of the 100 pound mono i have a swivel clip and i have a float and at the top of the float i use a non-return you put the line in through that right there and then you can zip line this down into the water and your float sits out on top and your mackerel floats and you're good to go as you can see on that hook I hook my mackerel on I took the tail off so it doesn't spin too much in the water and then I just like to go right through the head right there right where all that cartilage is hook it like that you're good to go thresher smacks this you're hooking up I will also be throwing a little three ounce pyramid sinker with a swivel clip hooked on to 20 pound fluorocarbon I have a dropper loop and at the end of that dropper loop I have a little circle hook that you can put squid or chunks of mackerel on and I'm going to send this out into the ocean trying to climb out. <laughs> All right, coming over, coming over. Do you want me to help you grab them? Sheesh, you can grab me if you want. A little rock crab. These might even be good enough to cook too. I put some bottom baits down. All the mackerels on the bottom, they all got eaten. So I assume these guys would probably be down there and they are. So there you guys go, a little rock crab. And then Luke's got another one down here. That one's got the purple legs on him. Yeah, we got some little crabbies. Noise. Got this little crab right here. Let's set him over here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna crab him up. This is the gauge right here. As you can see, we got crabs right there, four inches to see if it's legal. And you go across. And there you go. It is well over four inches. Boom. It says public safety alert due to a tsunami advisory, Orange County beaches and harbors are closed. Huh? <laughs> There's a tsunami on its way to Huntington Beach right now, and we're up here fishing. So I guess we're gonna keep an eye out for a huge tsunami. I don't know what we're gonna do if we see one, but Luke will, Luke will figure out a plan. I will. So apparently they're clearing everyone off the pier. Julio came around the corner like, the British are coming. Oh, they're here. Yep, there we go. The pier and the beach are gonna be closed for your safety for the tsunami warning. If you could please exit the pier. Okay, we got you. We have to exit the pier. The tsunami is coming. I'm gonna pack up my stuff and go home and cook this crab, you guys. So stay tuned. We'll be back in the crib cooking this crab soon. This is the end of the pier right now. Me and Julio be jamming. And they kicked us out. They're gonna close the gates. They're literally getting every single person off the pier. And then it's gonna be closed up due to the tsunami, which might have already came, but nothing really happened. They said it was coming at 7.50 and it's 8.10 now and nothing really happened, so. I don't know, I guess we'll see if there's an actual tsunami. What's up guys, we're back at the crib. I've got a big pan and I filled it with water like halfway and I got a big lid to put on top of it while we cook the crab. Here is the little rock crab that I caught today, dude. Check them out, we're about to eat them. We are going to get right into this. I'm gonna show you guys how to cook and eat a rock crab. This is my first time doing this, so it's gonna be exciting. Let's do it. We're gonna give him a little bath just to clean off everything on him. All right, I got the water steaming. We are going to put him in here. I'm noticing as you put them in there, their claws are like falling off. So maybe it's the hot water that makes it 
fall off. I'm going to add a bunch of sea salt to this just so it's nice and salty. I'm going to cover it. Let this sit for about 12 minutes. To catch this crab, I used a crab trap and in the middle of the crab net, I put mackerel. I didn't really season this crab at all, but I want to taste the meat. I want to get the actual taste of the meat and see what it tastes like. This is about halfway done. As you can see, the crab will start turning red and it's just in there boiling away. Dude, it's time for crabs. She. All right, we got a crab. Pretty cool. There is my first rock crab that I've ever cooked. It looks pretty tasty. Um, Let's start digging in. Sorry if the audio isn't as good, but I want to give you guys that first person point of view while I do this. The first thing I'm going to do is take all of its legs off. Ow, he's really hot. Ow, ow, ow. All right, I've got one of his legs and there's a little bit of meat hanging off. I'm going to cheat and try a little bit right now. Mm. Okay, we have this body right here. Let's start opening this thing. So I think we come back here and we peel this off. This is the body, I think. Ow, it's hot. Okay. In here, looks like a soupy mess, but I heard some of this stuff in here is good, so I'm gonna try it. Let's go in here with a spoon and get out some of this stuff. I don't know, dude. What is that? Is that like guts or food? <laughs> I don't even know. But yeah, there actually isn't like much meat or anything in here really. I'm just gonna give this a little try so you guys don't yell at me and be like, dude, you should have ate that, it's the best part. I just ate that and it honestly isn't that bad. It tasted really good, but I don't know. There's not much of it in there. There isn't much meat in the head, so I'm just gonna throw the head out. And now we have this body here, which has a little bit of meat on the sides. Mmm, yep, that meat's pretty good. That meat's pretty good. Okay, groovy. So that tastes good. We'll stick that aside. Let's get into a claw. I'm gonna break this open right here. We got some claw meat. I'll eat that in a second. And then over here again, we got some more claw meat. And then we got these little baby legs. Oh, look at that. You can pull it out. You can pull all these legs apart and get little crab meats out of there. All right, let's take this claw and let's do this. Oh, 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 yo, look at that juice. Ooh, oh, there's like little stuff on it. I don't even know. You take that off. Then you take this claw, open it up. Oh, do the same thing. It kind of broke off. Yeah, I heard these were really hard to crack, but this actually came apart pretty easy. So there's two nice pieces from the claw. This is fresh, right out of the ocean. Freshly caught. Big old chunk. Let's do it. Mmm. Here's one of the little legs. Little baby leg meat. Mmm. So good. Now I see why people pay good money for these. It's so good. Well, yeah, it's my first time cooking a crab out of the ocean, so this is awesome. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Mmm. I can't wait to get like a big load of these. I want to do like a dinner with it. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I would have stayed longer at the pier today, but we got kicked out. So there's a volcano that erupted somewhere, and there was a huge tsunami coming in, right? And apparently we're, we were there while the tsunami hit land and it really wasn't that big or anything. And that was it. They just kind of kicked us out, kind of keep us safe in case something did happen. Then they know that they took precautions or whatever. So they're just doing their job. They're keeping everyone safe. So the tsunami really wasn't that crazy, but it was kind of exciting. And then, uh, the crab was amazing. Thank you guys for watching. Cop some perch merch in the link in the description if you want to support the channel. And hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications. It's free, it's easy, that's all I ask of you and it really helps out the channel. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. I can't wait to see what we do next. We're going on an awesome trip next weekend. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Peace.